talking about this issue of, of literary fiction versus crime fiction, mm -hmm. I know we get tired of yeah. people mm -hmm. asking us about it. But I think one of the things that I think crime fiction does, the best of it anyway, without preaching, it does shine mm -hmm. a light mm -hmm. into the darker sides of our culture and society. I know you've done it in some of your mm -hmm. books. I know I've done it with, I've looked at things like drug trafficking and people trafficking and yeah. it's way, gone way beyond the old days of sort of the Agatha Christie mm -hmm. and the puzzle. Yeah. Is that one yeah. of the things that draws you to the genre? It is one of the things that, that, that drew me to it, you know, because say I was writing poetry before and I started reading a lot of crime fiction and when I decided I wanted to do it, 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 was, it was partly because I'd seen a lot of writers who were treating big themes in crime yeah. novels. I mean, you know, you, it's, certainly you, can, you could examine social problems, you know, quite easily in, in, that, in that genre. But, you know, they were also looking at religion, death, you know. And, and, and P.D. James sort of said that she started writing crime fiction as to get practice as a writer and structuring books and things like that. And she was going to write real novels. Mm -hmm. um, but she found she could do everything she needed to do in the crime novel and stay yeah. with her. I always remember her quote about um, when it comes to crime novels that only murder will do. Yeah. Because murder is the only crime that we cannot make recompense for. Yeah. You cannot take it back. It is so final. And also, I think she said, it's because all of us are capable of it. Mm -hmm. Pushed hard enough in the right circumstances, she believed that all of us had that little piece of darkness in us. Mm -hmm. you know, um, which I think, is, again, is what fascinates how I read this.